Well, good morning, everybody. I feel like I can't speak after that. Like, that was so good. Um, so I'm Hannah, and I love Disney movies. I feel like they're timeless, and at any age, you can watch them. Like, in fact, I just watched one last night, The Emperor's New Groove. Um, so, but my favorite one of all time would have to be Brave. And yes, I heard a couple of good, good sounds. Um, so the plot line is this Scottish princess named Merida loves her horse Angus and loves archery and loves to ride a horse. And there's a contest of like the neighboring kingdoms to see who will win her hand in marriage. And she has a first class fit. I don't blame her. She wants to slay her own dragons, and she doesn't need somebody to do the work for her. Um, and so she secretly enters, and it's somehow a challenge of archery. Um, and she wins her own hand at marriage, and her mom is infuriated. Don't blame her. Um, so she runs off with her horse, Angus, and discovers a witch in the woods who promises to change her fate. Reasonably enough. She buys a magical cake from this, prince, or this witch and gives it to her mom, and it turns her into a bear. <laughs> Very realistic. Um, but I have like a connection with Merida. I love horses. She loves horses. She's a Spitfire redhead. I'm a Spitfire redhead. I'm a tomboy. She's the tomboy. And although it's a Disney movie, it has a really deep meaning. Merida thought she could do life on her own, like I did. Now, I went to Gates Middle School, and some of you may have had really good middle school careers. I did not. Um, I was kind of the square peg in the round hole, the weird ginger girl. The um, People weren't really the nicest to me, and I didn't quite fit in. But um, there's about like 200, 300 students at that school, and I was completely surrounded by people, but I have never, ever felt so alone. So I decided to homeschool, and I was homeschooled for about three years, and it was great. I got to do school in my pajamas. I got to do coffee, drink coffee while doing my math. It was great. Um, but then I began to develop social anxiety. And so what that is, is anxiety of anything social. It's the fear of what people think, whether it be talking to somebody on the telephone or in line at Wegmans or public speaking. Um, <laughs> So during that time, I began to isolate myself from my friends and my family. I had a life riddled with fear, and it was eating me alive. I had countless, countless people I could ask for help, but fear told me I couldn't. Now, like that song on Caleb, fear is a liar. Fear told me I was worthless, and I was in this alone. Anxiety is not a battle you can wage by yourself. Fear whispers lies about us until we believe them. Now Joshua 1.9 says, Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid and do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Now this is probably one of my favorite verses in the whole entire Bible. Um, it reminds me that God commands us to be courageous. And he will be with us wherever we go, wherever we literally are or wherever we are in life. Um, my parents say this saying to me, courage is not doing things without fear. It is doing things in spite of fear. And God never, ever promised an easygoing, smooth sailing, fear-free life. But he did promise us a com each a community of people to uplift us. And last year, God called me to go to North Star Christian Academy, yet another school. I was petrified. But God made it clear that he had a plan much better than mine. And I did the whole courage despite being scared thing, and I jumped head in. During that transition, God showed me that I wasn't alone in this. My friends and family supported me like always, and it was really great. God combated those lies the enemy whispered by whispering, lies, or by whispering truth to me. Um... So now I'm at my first year of North Star Christian Academy, and I love it. I feel like I belong, and I have a place. I've met so many new people, but it was not easy at first. I'm going to humble myself a little bit. Um, I cried in the bathroom the first entire week of school, and I sat alone the first two days. But it wasn't until one of my good friends, Julia, decided that I was cool enough to sit with her. 
I did not win the battle against fear by myself. Jesus is the hero of my story, and he will always be. And I thank God for these challenges that he's put in my life. They strengthen me and show me that he has a plan for me. And I'm surrounded by people who love and care for me. And I'm so blessed to people, have these people in my life, such as my friends Kate, Kenzie, Natalie, Julia, Larissa, Lucas, and so many more. Thank you guys for loving on me. And thank you to my youth leaders over the years, such as Emily, Alexi, Mama Alquist, Janelle, Sarah, and so many more. You guys voluntarily work with teenagers, which you have to be crazy to do that. So thank you guys. <laughs> and thanks mom and dad for encouraging me and being my literal teachers for the last three years. I still have some missing homework assignments. <laughs> and one point you need to walk away with, you are a warrior, not a worrier. Fear does not own you. You are a child of God. Amen. Thank you. Amen.